Hello everyone, this is Diane from Modern Mississauga and these are the Perks, Quirks and Irks of the 2019 Honda Ridgeline Black Edition. So we're going to start out with the truck bed. It is a short five foot bed and inside that five feet is um, are rather quite a few perks. In addition to being able to lower like a regular tailgate, we do have our dual action down here. There's a latch hidden, pull that and it swings open like a door. And then down here, we have an in-bed trunk, which will hold 207 liters of cargo space. There's also a drain down here. So if you get some messy stuff in this trunk, very easy to clean it out. I'll we'll show that. In the bed also are speakers. I cannot show you where these are because they are so well protected. I cannot tell exactly where they are. However, they sound really quite fantastic. So let's shut that. We will walk around and take a look in the back seat. So our rear seat does fold up, handle here, pull it up, locks into place, very easy to do. And lots of cargo space there, nearly flat, so quite versatile. With that up, I can reach in here and we have rear climate control. So if your rear passengers want something a little different than you, they have it. There are also two heated seats in the rear. So again, this folds down as easily as it came up and clicks right into place. With the black edition, we do have our black leather seats with the red stitching and red accents. Also with the black edition are the 18 inch black wheels, which look quite nice. Come around to the front. Um, a nice feature is that with the Honda Sensing, they use two different technologies. So up at the top where the rear view mirror is, there is a camera and within the H on the front is radar. Nice to have two different sensing capabilities. I also like the fact that they put the practical practicality of the radar right into a natural aesthetical feature so it doesn't jump out at you as being out of place. And of course we have our black edition badging on the black grill. Let's whoop, let's take a look. Step back. You can get a good view and we will look inside. Inside we have our push button start and right over here we have one of my favorite perks. We have our two driver presets. So if you're sharing it, you can each pick one and it sets not only your seat but also your side mirror position. And if we take a look at the key fob, you can see it says driver one on there. If you get in the car with driver one key fob, it will set to driver one. You can see the green light is on there. And when we put the truck in reverse, if we take a look at the side mirror, it will tilt down for you. So you can see the lines when you're reversing into a space. And when we put it back in park in this case or drive, it will go back to where your preset is for whatever driver profile you are using. Very, very nice perk there. Down here, we have all of our safety features, as I mentioned, with the sonar and the driving, pardon me, the sonar and the camera. Uh, we also have heated wipers. They are rain sensing wipers. The e controls are right over here. So if you have it turned to auto, and then this selects how sensitive the rain sensor is. Also down here, we have our Econ Mode button. I didn't use this much because one of my irks with this truck is there's not a lot of torque. We have a 3.5 liter V6 and that gives us 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. For a vehicle of this size and this weight, I would like to have a little bit more torque to get it moving. 
So over here we of course have our range to when we are out of gas and the average fuel for this particular trip. As you can see, I averaged over the past week 10.8 liters per 100 kilometer. It does say Honda rates it at 11.3 combined. So I would say that's very on target. Um, <clears throat> I did do a little bit more highway driving than city driving, but yeah, that's, that's where I would expect it to be. So over here, we have our seven inch touch screen. We have our home button up here. Um, as I said, truck bed audio. I won't turn it on because you won't be able to hear it. <laughs> turn it back. Uh, down here we have our climate controls. Everything is a tactile button, which is fantastic because it does help you keep your eye on the road. One thing that I really like is that you can turn your rear settings off so if you have no one in the back there's no reason to heat or cool that area and down here surprising for a 2019 we have a cd player interesting feature there nice big storage in the center i find it really nice to keep my purse hidden in there and we do have a sunroof along with a powered rear window so I think that pretty much covers the inside. Let's go for a drive. So let's discuss a couple of quirks with the Ridgeline. Uh, one big quirk is that it doesn't drive like a truck. It drives more like an SUV. Um, I'm gonna chalk that up to a quirk because some of us like how trucks drive and some of us don't. So if you don't, but you want the convenience of a truck, this might be a good choice. Um, another quirky thing I meant to mention during the in-car portion is the armrests. They are attached to the seat. My husband liked this because we each had our own. I didn't. I prefer to have just a little bit more space to stretch my arms out a bit. Um, <clears throat> yeah, other than that, I guess that's pretty much everything. It is a very nice, comfortable truck. Um, we do have heated and cooled seats in the front, which is a really nice feature. Um, the temperature nowadays, I didn't really need either one of them this week, but still a nice feature to have. Um, Price-wise, so your Sport Edition, the baseline is uh, 40990 um, and then this Black Edition is 49990 um, it is up 1500 from the Touring and doesn't really give you anything practical. It's mostly just aesthetic um, Those nice black wheels. I showed you the front grille um, the nice red stitching <clears throat> And there is red ambient ambient lighting which you of course can't see right now um, <clears throat> I don't know if all that is worth 1500 if there was a little something extra maybe a little oomph in the engine or something then it'd be worth the extra money um, but other than that yeah it is pretty good you can get the towing package there are two different options for towing packages you can add on and the towing ability is uh, it can tow up to 5,000 pounds which was a little more than I was expecting for this um, and payload capacity is 1,477 pounds. Still quite impressive for a mid-range, mid-sized rather, truck. So yeah, all in all, um, it's been a good week. It's been quite comfortable. I did a lot of driving this week and I never really felt like I'd get me out of here. So that's a good sign. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.